Crown EM revolution happened in 2013 because there's a new detector and a new sort of data acquisition and processing. And uh, so it changed uh, everything. I wasn't trained to use Crow EM. I was trained to be using X-ray crystal diffraction to the study uh, macromolecular structure. And as the name means, uh, crystal is the essential part for using X-ray to study structure. And getting crystal is super hard. And the most protein do, do not form crystal. And when it's formed crystal, it's just have one particular conformation. And as you know, molecules like humans, they're dynamic. They have many different conformations present different forms. So crystallization is very limiting, hard to get. And when you get a structure, it's one conformation species. And the crowd EM used to be have very low resolution. You cannot see detail, just a blurry image. And ever since the crowd EM technique breakthrough, we can now access to the high resolution as X-ray. But it doesn't need does not need crystallization. And the sample can be very dynamic. We couldn't put the whole ensemble of the protein onto the so-called crowd EM grids. And the particles have different conformation. Once we took the image, once we take the image, those particles can be individually analyzed. And then we can group them, sort them. OK, this is one conformation. Let's belong to another conformation. So from one data collection, we, we make you know, thousands of movies looking at those particles. We can get maybe five, six different conformations. So it's, it's bypassed the requirement of slow step bottleneck of crystallization. And it's no longer just one confirmation of one data collection. You can have multiple confirmation.